In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create eight rectangular shadow options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added one line exactly in the center. And when I click, the first option comes. You can see here I have added a gradient fill with the shadow effect. You can add the step number one with the icon. You can add the title and the detail text. So when I click on the right side, it will come the step two with a different color then comes the step three you can see here the step four step five six seven and the last one step eight so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the options likewise i have created one more slide where i have added uh, six options only you can see here this is option one and option two likewise you can just do the animation for the rest of the options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this if you're using the older version some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw the rectangle depending on your requirement uh, you can adjust the height and width so i'm going to keep this much shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this right mouse click go to format shape under fill select the gradient fill and by default you got four uh, stops so i'm just going to delete two stops and then one stop i'm going to give the same gray color what i have used in the background and change the direction something like this and then this one i'm going to select the second stop with white and then you can just move this more closer here you can see here something like this all right so this is my first one and then i'm going to add the shadow effect press ctrl d to duplicate this one and here i am going to use two stops again the first stop i am going to make it black you can see here and the second stop i can make it more transparent all right so it looks something like this bring it here tilt a little bit something like this and then put it exactly here or i can further tilt it and then i'm just going to put it here something like this and then just send this to back so it looks something like this the shadow effect you can see here if you want more darker you can just increase the position here all right and then once this is done i'm going to add one more shape from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangles rounded corner and i'm going to just add this one like this shape outline no outline shape fill any color of your choice you can select and i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees and bring it here exactly in the corner and just reduce the size all right something like this and this one you can go to the effects shadow from the presets scroll down you can see inner i can select let me just select inside top not this one maybe the other side i have to select yeah this one all right so i've given the shadow effect also and then uh, later on we'll add the text so before adding the text let me just select all of these press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl and shift key together and just drag it down for example if you want two three four whatever for example i'm just going to add say only three example all right so you can see here i can just adjust it like this and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side go to rotate and you can see here i'm just going to rotate flip horizontal and exactly place in the center so it looks something like this and then i can just ungroup this and this also is already ungrouped so you can see here the three options again i can select all and i can just bring it somewhat down so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it now once this is done now again this is group let me just ungroup this 
all right now i'm going to select this the second one and i'm going to give some different color combination you can see here depending on your requirement you can just select any color of your choice so i'm just going to choose some random colors here all right so you can see here i've added six different colors the shadow effect has been given if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons i can just add uh, uh, just random six icons all right so i'm just selecting some random icons click insert and bring this aside here and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 only and then i'm just going to put it one by one here you can see here just put it at the corners the top corner and here the top right corner all right so you can see here i've added and then if you want you can just change the color according to the color of this particular option so i can sorry i can select this one go to format graphic fill and i can just change the color if you want just keep it a black or gray also depending on your requirement so let me just quickly change this one so using the eyedropper i'm just going to change and remember this option may not be available in the older version of powerpoint so i highly recommend you to use the latest version so once this is done i can just go to insert text box and you can add the title here all right you can make it bold reduce the size to 16 bring it more closer to the icon go to insert text box and equals lorem within brackets one and then it gave me some text i don't want this big text so i have deleted some part and reduce the size okay and then i'm going to give some gray color and bring it here and reduce the size all right you can see here then it's easy for me i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and then just bring it down one by one all right you can see here press ctrl d now bring the other side now this has to be right aligned go to format align then also here also right aligned okay and then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here again duplicate bring it here so you can see here we have uh, completed the design and then if you want you can just add the option here for example i'm just going to say step zero one all right you can make it bold make it white or let it be black later on we can change go to the text direction and i want text direction rotate all text to 70 degrees increase the size and then i'm just going to put it here all right press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here again bring it here so now i'm going to select all these three press ctrl d to duplicate and bring this here so depending on your requirement this could be one this could be two this is three this is four five and this is six all right and then i can just select this and group it all right so i'm just going to group like this select this with the help of mouse and then group it so i have grouped this even the let me just group again even the text also you can group this one okay Control g only the text don't uh, group any other thing all right so we have completed the design and then one more part which is missing i'm going to add one line here from the top to bottom all right so make sure that it is let me just add it again select line click exactly in the middle and you can just hold the shift key and then make it straight line shape outline you can make it gray and increase the weight maybe this much and then you can give some dotted lines here 
then go to view remove the guides so th this is how the design looks and then as i said that uh, if you want to add more options you can add it and the last part which we will do right now is the animation part so let me just close this i'm going to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one the gradient fill the white one add animation go to more entrance effect if you want you can use it the wipe effect or i'm going to use the stretch effect stretch click ok and then stretch it should from right all right should come like this and then for the shadow effect i'm going to give a wipe effect all right wipe again it should come from right and this should happen with previous but a delay of maybe a uh, point one zero seconds all right so if i play it looks something like this you can see here like this and then once this is done i'm going to select this one and for this also i'm going to give the same stretch effect click ok and then make it from right it should happen after previous and for this add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select the basic zoom click ok again this should happen maybe with previous and then this one also i'm going to give the same text animation which is the stretch click ok and it should affect from left and this should happen after previous so if i play now when i click it comes something like this now similarly i'm going to use the same animation here but we need to change the direction so first one select this one click on animation painter click on this see this is coming from right so i need to change from left all right so same thing here i'm going to select the shadow and this shadow again comes from right i should make it from left and then i'm going to select this one animation painter this also from left all right and this one i don't need to change anything because it is uh, uh, the same thing here i don't need to change and then the text i'm going to select and you can see here this also i have to make it from right now the opposite direction so if i okay the icon is i have missed so let me just do it once again all right so i have to just select the icon here and i'm going to basic zoom and this should happen after previous or whichever way you feel better all right so it comes something like this so similarly you can just copy the animation to the rest of the options